Hello and welcome to an all Italian fair here in the Europa League quarter final against Genoa and Lazio Football Club. Let's get into it. But also, if you haven't already, I'm trying to hit 100 subscribers, currently on 82. So if you can help me out, if you like the video, please subscribe down below. But let's get the intro on the way and then let's go to Lazio and hopefully we'll secure the first win of the quarter final. <music> recap of the league as we are so far. Currently in 10th place, we've played 29 games, so two games less than everyone else in the league, except for Juventus are on 30, and Udinese are on 30, so they clearly are two games in hand, so ignore that. 12 wins, 6 draws, 11 losses. We don't really draw that many, which is, which is good to see. We're on 42 points, so we're 23 points ahead of the relegation zone. Not that we are going to be relegated this season, which is nice, but we're 11 points away from Sassuolo, I don't think we're going to be getting any European football for next season, not unless we win the UEFA Europa League. Top goal scorers so far are Retegui and Vidovic. They're both on seven goals apiece. David De Gea, average rating of 7.26, and Retegui has seven assists also. Now, one thing I never mentioned in the last game is we've we released a player. <laughs> Will it show me released? Um, yeah, we released Hazard, he was on way too much money, it cost us 900000 to release him, and it's allowed us to free up the wage budget for incoming players in the future, so if we can see Eden Hazard here, a little peek behind the corner, we've got rid of Hazard, however, coming in as his replacement for next season, we have Simeone Pafunde, Pafundi, 18 years old, well he's 19 now, on loan to Watford from Udinese, joining us as a free contract. Let's get a young, good spine of Italian players into this club, which is my, my overall aim. And speaking of that as well, Marco Carnesecchi, he's going to be joining us from Atalanta. I think 1.7 we spent on him. 1.7, rising to 2.1 million. He's going to be the David De Gea replacement, who is looking to leave at the end of his contract. And if we can compare the two, I think it's... They're not too far apart, if I'm mistaken. I mean, De Gea has better shot stopping, a little bit taller as well, better aerial reach. But Karnasechi is only 24 years of age. He's 10 years the junior of David De Gea. Yeah, hopefully a good, kind of not a budget signing, but a good signing for the future. I know he becomes a very good in Football Manager if you do play him consistently. He's only played one game for Atlanta so far, and to be fair, even last season, he didn't play for him at all. So, yeah, Marco Carnesecchi, our first choice for next season. Hopefully we can move David De Gea on, but enough of that. Europa League football awaits us, and let's get into it. Now we've got a little switch up to our tactics for this game. Our assistant manager said that... Lazio did not like playing against a 4-2-3-1. We don't normally play wingers, we haven't got the players for it, so Sabiri is going to be a left inverted winger, Baldanzi a right inverted winger, with Vidovic as the attacking midfielder, and Retegui as the main striker up front. And we have got an issue slightly with Lucas Casavienda. I think I've just annoyed him in a team talk. He's not happy about it. The whole team are supporting him over me, so there could be a mutiny on the go at the minute. But all that goes out the window. Europa League football. Here we go against Lazio. I mean, they got a good team. Gila, who was looking at signing. Debast, maybe as well. I think our centre back pairing can can use a little touch up here. And to be fair, we need a first choice right back. Terraciano is currently injured and we can't can't register him as well for the Europa League. Although kickoff highlight, we're just gonna demand more here. Bastoni into Vitic into Esposito. We are away from home here. Papetti to Dragusin. I mean it's a good run there by Vidovic. 
Is he going to get tackled? He is, but Retigo is there. He brought off a save within 20 seconds for Providel. I mean, it's a good start. If we can keep that going, then bring it on as Marisic gives it back to Providel, who just clears his lines. Up to Sebastian Halla, who's won that header, but Esposito has taken it away from Immobile. I mean, they've got some experienced strikers up front. Immobile is fantastic in this league, and Halla is a big presence as well. As Gallo runs down the left, it's a long first highlight. Still down the left for Gallo. He's going to whip it in. Who's at the back post? Baldanzi, talking of the post, hits it off the post. I mean, fantastic start from us so far. I mean, I'm kind of not going to finish what I was going to say then, as Cataldi is going to whip this in. Debast at the back post has headed it on, and Gila's headed it into the net. So we were looking to buy Mario Gila, and in seven minutes, he's broken our hearts. I mean, we are away from home, so this is going to be a very tough game indeed. I don't really want to watch that again, though. We'll move that on. We're going to demand more as well. Kind of their first highlight and their first shot on target, and it has gone in, unfortunately. Looking at shots-wise, we seem to be doing quite well at the minute. More on target than Lazio, but they're winning the game, which is all that matters, really, in football. And not a lot has been happening now. We're just going to encourage them as well as Marisic throws it into Cataldi. Gives it back to Gila. They're playing with a back five. So maybe Retegui is going to be slightly outnumbered at the top of the pitch. Pellegrini into Kamada. Back to Romagnoli. Into Kamada. I mean, Immobile is there. What have we got? That's a lovely ball across to Marisic. Is Gallo going to get sucked in? He has. I mean, Sibiri hasn't done much in this game either. That scares me. Immobile in the middle. Vitic cuts it out, however. Pellegrini on the left-hand side is going to bring it forward. Nicely cut out by Vidovic. Up to Retegui. I mean, Sibiri, if you can make a book burst... No, he hasn't done it, but he's won it back. Go on, Sibiri. Out to Baldanzi. Vidovic is in the middle, as is Retegui. It's over to Vidovic. Please pass. Please pass. He's gone for goal. Got a equaliser back. Gabriel Vidovic, his 13th of the season. He seems to be doing... Look at that Irish jig. Absolutely wonderful with his feet, Vidovic. That was very nice indeed. Sibiri to Baldanzi. A lovely ball over the top by Baldanzi. Vidovic, I was hoping he was going to pass it, but he went, went for the right option. Off the post and in. We get a goal back in this game. And demanding more is what we're going to do next. It's very even... It is very even so far. We have got a corner. Vidovic now. He's going to whip it in. No one's there. Halle headers it away. Sibiri. Back to Papetti. Here's our centre back. Into Vidovic. Back to Esposito. Bastoni. <sighs> Deflected. Headed away by Gila. Come on, put a better ball in on this Bastoni. Although on the right hand side, we have got Dragos in. Esposito finds Dragos in. We've got players in the box still. Baldanzi. Back to Dragos in. Lovely ball to Vidovic. He might be offside. He has scored. I'm a little bit concerned it is offside and it isn't just spoke too soon. He's He hasn't raised his flag at all. What's this about? I mean, he is slightly off, but don't lie to me, football manager, and say the ref has raised his flag. And just before half time. Oh, is that a red card by Sabiri? No words for that. Absolutely no words for that. I think now, however, we need to change our tactical prowess. Please remember the shot so far. I mean, I don't really want to praise them because... You know, just work harder to get the result. Sabiri, I think you're going in the summer. Not, not been a big fan of you at all. Right, Vidovic now. If we just move him over to there. Maybe we'll... We're going to stop Gallo from getting forward as well. Bastoni. You know what? If we move Bastoni up, but then... Can he play as a wide midfielder? He can. Okay, we move Vidovic back where he was. 
Esposito in the middle. No, we'll move him back over to there. And we'll have a wide midfielder on support as well for Bastoni. I mean, we will maybe we'll focus down the right hand side as well. Let's give an instruction to focus down the right. And see how that fares for us. We're gonna demand more as well. I mean if we can if we can stick to a draw, we'll be very happy going into the second leg. But Retigo is on a 6.5. He's not playing too too well. Nor is Vitic as well. He's on a 6.2. Pretty poor to see. So Vitic, we're going to bring you off for Capolo, Retigui, for Cavani. I mean, I've been very impressed with Cavani as he's come in. Bit of a talisman for us. Target forward on attack as well. Let's get him pushing up the line. And we're just going to encourage him for this as well. So Romagnoli into Marcus Alonso. I mean, they're three on three at our back. This is dangerous. Marisic into the middle. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so poor. <sighs> so poor. Unlucky though, guys. I mean, I don't know where Gallo was there. He was well out of position. Maybe we're going to get him to just mark tightly onto Marisic. Where's Marisic? You know what, we might as well do the same with Dragusin. We're going to get you to mark specifically their left wing back, Ruggeri. And Esposito, I think. We're going to move Bastoni back into the middle. We're going to get Esposito. To manmark Felipe Anderson. Sorry, Bastoni, manmark Felipe Anderson. And then Esposito. We're going to get you to man mark. Oh, they've only got one striker up front. Alright, we'll leave you as you are then. I mean, we've, we've given them a good game, but Sibiri being sent off is, has crippled us, let's be honest. Although Esposito with the free kick, he hits it back post to Coppola. I mean, it's a poor header. This is potentially going to be Lazio's highlight, I reckon. Providel back to the Bast. I mean, 2 1, we could take that back home. 3 1, I think it could be game over for us in the Europa League. The Bast to Ruggieri. He hits it long. <sighs> but Petty has saved our blushes at the back post. Look at them, look how attacking they are now. Marcus Alonso allowed to run free, allowed to run into the box. He spooned it over the bar. At least Gallo has stuck on Marisic then. I mean, let's just get to full time at 2-1. But it is a corner. Swung in. Oh, it's all over. Very, that's De Gea, that is. Why didn't De Gea come out and get the ball? Uphill struggle now for the second leg. It was all going so, so well. You know what, might as well just berate them for the last minute. Oh, very poor. They're going to get a water bottle thrown at them. Don't care. Don't care about that. Disappointing, to say to say the very least. But second leg now, at home, we've got it all to play for. Now, I just wanted to come back for this one. Uh, we've somehow beat Palermo 6-1. We've been in some bad form lately, but seems to have turned it around against Palermo. I mean, we had 13 shots, 8 on target, an XG of 2.76, so to have 6 goals. I feel a bit harsh for Palermo. But yeah, uh, some some interesting news as well. I think the players have lost all kind of faith in me as well. Purely from looking at... Well, um, I'll just go and show you. Looking at the dynamic screen, uh, managerial support is abysmal. I think it's because I'm doing a fair few kind of negative team talks. Maybe something to work on towards the end of the season to, to hopefully win the support of the players again. Uh, but in that game, uh, Gallo's out for two months. Lovely. He's going to miss the Lazio game. And Hefty's out for five weeks. So yeah. Better go we got a hat-trick at least. So, silver linings and all that. So here we are for the second leg against Lazio. Now, the team is pretty ravaged. 
we can only name seven players on the bench. Again, I think I've maybe shot myself in the foot with who we can register. We've got loads of our players we can't register. Although Hefty being injured doesn't help. Samardic being injured doesn't help. Sabiri and Esposito both suspended. And Gallo is injured as well. So the team's going to be De Gea in goal, Dragosin, Papetti, Capolo, and Bastoni at the back. Amiri and Frendrup in the middle. Nandez has to play as a right winger. Valdanzi, Vidovic as a left-hand side winger. And Retegui up front. Now we had a good win against Palermo, just 6-1. We need a kind of performance like that today. Hopefully we can get it as well. Let's exact revenge on Lazio. And we are at home at least. We've got a two goal uh, disadvantage that we need to overcome as soon as we can. And we are going to shout demand more straight away. It's Dragusin. Ha! Red card. In the first two minutes, immobilize off. For Lazio, I mean, it's definite red. It is a definite red. I'm not sure why he's thrown himself in just like that. But can that turn the tide for us? I really hope it can. So Vidovic, back to Bastoni. Into Frendrup. Nice ball back to Capola. I mean, they might, might sit quite deep now. However, Capola, lovely ball to Nandes as the right winger. What a goal that was. It's just... Ronaldinho chested it right past Providell. We go 1 0 up in the first five minutes. I mean, that was fantastic. Look like Lazio have got a player booked in the second minute as well. I mean, Capolo here. Please be onside, Nandez. He is onside. I mean, have you seen a goal like that before on Football Manager? I don't think I have. I've not seen someone chest it into the net. Fantastic stuff. I mean, we're going to demand more again. I mean, that early red card has seriously helped us out here. But Lazio is still going to be dangerous. They've made it into the quarterfinals for a reason. And it is hit up long. Dragosin wins the header. Baldanzi now. Into Amiri. Nandez on the right. Absolutely shock about that goal. That goal's crazy. Dragosin now. Into Baldanzi. Into Retegui. Can we make it two? Oh, it's just off the post. But fantastic start by Genoa. 2-0. 2-0. 2, -nil. Two, -nil. Two -nil is what we need to get to at the very least. 20 minutes gone. I mean, we are going to demand more. They've got an injury now at right back. The Lazio. And the red card as well. I mean, they're not playing too well. But to be fair, we still need a goal. Don't do this to be football manager. Surely we've got something in our locker here. We demand more, and a highlight begins. De Gea now to Coppola. <laughs> Bit of an extravagant pass on the right-hand side to Dragosin. Although, Dragosin into Nandez. He's having a good game out on the right. Whips it in. Vidovic has been deflected off him. Dragosin wins the header. Baldanzi loses it. Nandez. Come on, Nandez. Vidovic. It's just over the bar. I mean, we are pressing here. Vidovic... I don't really want his injury to prevent him too much. There's another highlight as well. Past the two-minute mark. Amiri whips it in. Retigui at the back post. Oh, what is going on? What is going on? Providell, was he offside? No, it was half oh. Insane goalkeeping, that is. You know, exact revenge again. I mean, Retigui on a 6.4. We need you to turn it up. Get it together. He looks fired up. I mean, even Vidovic as well. You can improve. He's motivated. We need a goal. We do need a goal. Cavani might have to come on at some point. As Frendrup gives it to Bastoni. To Vidovic. Nice pass into Retigui. He might lose it out. Gets it back. Him and Baldanzi. Baldanzi over the top to Nandez. I mean, a bit confused. Retigui goes for distance off the crossbar. I mean, it's very, very slow. Right, let's fire up the players. I mean, Retigo in a 6.4, he is our main man, and I don't really want to take him off, but we may have to 
if he continues to perform quite poorly. Baldanzi now finds Vidovic, Retegui in the middle, as is named as, crosses it in, I mean it's headed away too easily. Dragusin back to Papetti, that can't be under the highlight, there is a highlight here. Dragusin now down the right hand side, into the box, whips it across, Baldanzi, we've got our second goal, it is 2-0. Retigui, do we stick with you? I feel like we kind of have to for now, but... We haven't made any changes, what are you on about? Go back. We're going to demand more again. We've got our second goal, we need a third. It's been Nandez having a very good game, Baldanzi having a great game. Vidovic and Retigui, slowly he is improving on his... on his rating. Is it... No, he's not. We're going to have to bring him off. We're going to bring him off. Retigui, we're going to bring you off. You're on a 6.6. .6. It's not good enough. Edison Cavani, we're going to bring you in. I mean, Vidovic, hopefully he can last it until until the end of the game. We're going to fire them up. It is 2-0. I mean, I don't think away goals work here. Nandez now. Into Amiri. Amiri to Valdanzi. When we are pressing... Which is always good to see. Into Vidovic. What's Vidovic going to do? We've kept him on. It's, it's just gone wide. It's just gone wide of the post. It's eight minutes to go. I mean, I, I don't want to talk about it, but I can see a late goal from Lazio here to crush our spirits. Emiri now with the corner. He whips it in. Pepetti's there. It's headed away. Capola into Emiri. I mean, it is the end of the highlight there. Have we got one more demand more to come in? I'm waiting for the shout button to highlight. There it is. And we are into extra time here. Vidovic, hopefully he can... We're just going to tell him to get revenge. Hopefully Vidovic, oh, he's on a 6.5. Baldanzi's not doing very well. Neither is Nandez as well. I mean, a bit of a, a, bit of a no go. This first half of extra time. Right. Vidovic, we're going to bring you off. Let's change our tactics a little bit. Vidovic, bring you inside. Nandez going to bring you inside. More stat is coming on. Cavani, do we go with two up front? Kind of, well, I don't really want to take off Nandez, really. He's played fantastic today. Papetti's not looking great either. Vitic, we're going to bring you in. Nandez, maybe we'll bring you off. For Lorenzo... Luca, you know what, let's just go for this. We're going to have two target forwards up in the front end. Are we going to do target forward? We are. You know what, Cavani, can you be a poacher? Poacher on attack. Hopefully Luca can head them down to you. And we'll have a second shadow striker here from Morstadt. I mean, it's four changes made. We have got another one to make, but our midfield is absolutely decimated. So we will leave it for now. We will start extra time. Hopefully the fresh legs can come in. We're going to fire them up as well. We need one goal. I don't want to go to penalties, please. Time is slowing down. Demand more. It is penalties. Right. Who are our penalty takers? We've got Cavani, Morstad, Lorenzo Luca, Amiri. I mean, we have penalty takers at least. Right. Oh, what do we do? You know what? No gesture. We're in front of our own fans. It's down to the FM gods now. Lethal Immobile isn't on the pitch. A little bit nervous here. A little bit nervous for Chino. Scored the first one. I hate penalties. I always think that we are gonna just, just not score any. But Cavani's stepping up. 38 yards old, Edison Cavani. And just put it in the bottom right -hand corner. That's what we want to see. Romagnoli, centre-back for Lazio. I mean, I think just one miss by Lazio and I'll be happy. Romagnoli. 
saved by De Gea. Fantastic save that is De Gea. Well done to you. Morstedt, the young German striker that we brought in at the start of the season due to Retigui's injury. What can he provide for us here? Oh, he's, he's had his save. He's had his save. It's okay, Morstedt. You're young. You'll get used to this disappointment at Genoa. Anderson now. He scored. Lorenzo Luca, the six foot seven giant. Oh, I can't watch this. Oh, we have scored it. Go on, Luca. Lovely stuff. Can Lazio miss another one? Marcus Alonso now. I mean, De Gea is in goal, which, which is good. But when we get to Baldanzi and Papetti, I'll be scared. And Alonso has just powered that into the net. Oh, Morstead, have you cost us a penalty shootout win here against Lazio? Amiri with the ball. He scored it down to the last penalty takers of the five. Ravella. Now we are looking to sign Ravella next season. Can he give us a gift now? No. He may have actually broken our hearts, Ravella. And it's all down to Baldanzi. There is 10 penalty taken. We have scored it. Well done, Baldanzi. Well done indeed. Gila, who scored the goal in the first leg. I mean, this would be cruel if we did lose on penalties. We've dominated this game completely. Gila has scored it. Now we're in the unknown realms. I think it might be for Petty. But these penalties are taking their time. Bastoni, our left back centre midfielder. Trust him, he coming in January for us. And he has put it in the bottom corner, lovely stuff. De Gea, what was that mate? one of the dodgiest penalties I've seen, but Bittick, I think this is where we lose it. Oh, well that's crushing, absolutely crushing. Look at that, 27 shots, 13 on target. We beat them 2-0 on the night but just wasn't. You know, we'll praise the players. It's their first time in Europe. Quarter final in the Europa League. Not sure what that means for the rest of this series. There's only like seven games left to play. Defeat in the quarter final. That was really gutting that was. Absolutely gutting. Bidovic is injured. I mean, 1.5 million. We'll take that. Inspiration in Baldanzi. He got a nice goal today. And if we look at where we're going to come back for the end of the season, I mean, this Lazio the last day of the season. Yeah, maybe we'll come back for Cremonese and Empoli. Maybe, maybe just the one that do the end of season review. But for now, that's gutting. Have a great day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.